Hello, Oilers fans. Austin here, and welcome to tonight's pregame report between the Edmonton Oilers and the Winnipeg Jets in preseason action. This will be game number four for Edmonton, and uh, I'm not expecting too much of an NHL-heavy lineup here. I think the Oilers are still going to be looking at getting uh, some looks at their younger players, Noah Philb, Matthew Savoy, Raphael Lavoy, if he's healthy enough to go. Lavoy yesterday left practice a little bit early, and uh, Knobloch said that it was a lower body thing. I don't think that there's anything too much to worry about there for Lavoy. He may play tonight. So we're going to go over the potential lineup that Jason Greger put out. It is unconfirmed at this point if these are the players that are playing as of the recording of this video. So if things change, if the lineup changes, I'll probably leave an update comment in the comment section. And my cat is just like all over me right now. While I'm trying to record. Uh, towards the end of the video, I am going to show everyone how to enter the hockey pool that I'm doing. It is completely free to enter. I've had a few questions about how it actually works, what to do after you click the link, and I will show everyone. So if that interests you, stick around to the end of the video, okay? Now, uh, with that out of the way, make sure you hit like if you like this video, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed, and let's jump into the projected lineup here. So the game is at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, streaming on Oilers Plus or the Winnipeg Jets website for free if you do not want to sign up for Oilers Plus. In the lineup, it looks like there will be Hoffman, Peterson, and Arvidsson. Matthias Janmark will get his first uh, preseason action. He'll be playing with Noah Philp and Connor Brown, possibly. Again, like I mentioned, this lineup is not set in stone. These are just the players that are likely to play. Uh, Savoy, Hamblin, and Lavoy, which I'm very excited to watch more Hamblin because when he played against Winnipeg uh, the other night, he was terrific, and I want to see more of that. Kajula with O'Reilly and Ryan. And then on defense, you'll have Kulak with Emerson, Deneen with Carrick, Hoffenmeyer with Warner, and then you'll have Skinner and Delia in net. I imagine Skinner and Delia will split the game. Halfway through the game, Skinner will come out, Delia will come in in goal. And uh, taking a look at this lineup here, Lots of good players, lots of good pieces, lots of players that, you know, are fighting for a spot on this team. Noah Philp, I think, is fighting for a fourth line, um, the fourth line center position over Derek Ryan. So to have Derek Ryan also in the lineup, they're going to get a look at both of them. Uh, and and the big thing here is if Noah Philp wants to make the team, it's got to be uh, because he's doing well in the penalty kill. So if Edmonton's taking some penalties, expect Noah Philp to go out there and take faceoffs and expect him to be on the penalty kill tonight. Same with James Hamblin. He's a, he has an outside chance of making this roster right out of training camp. And again, he's another player that will be looking to make this team. And he would likely slot in that fourth line center position if he does. Maybe fourth line left wing. And then Savoy and Lavoy, they're fighting for a right wing or left wing spot. Uh, depending on you know how the team looks. We know Evander Kane is going to be out for quite a while here. So that third line left wing position is open. And Corey Perry, he's not getting any younger for fourth line right wing. So there are a few spots open on this uh, team uh, in training camp. Of course, Mike Hoffman, veteran goal scorer in on a PTO. He's going to be looking to make this team as well. So there's, there's a lot of question marks, a lot of uncertainty, and a lot of players in this lineup. Uh, I'll be very curious to see how they play. Lots of competition here. I expect them to play much better than they did against the Calgary Flames in their split squad matchups. But that's pretty much the projected lineup and the pregame report. Now let's move on quickly to the hockey pool that I'm doing now. In the description of the video, now not this one specifically, the, the, this one was from the day after yesterday that I uploaded, but there will be a description part of my video that you're watching right now. It will look very similar to this. It'll have this exact same writing and there will be a link to office pools. When you click that link, it will bring you right to a screen. It says you have been invited to create a team in the Austin hockey pool for the 24 25 regular season. Entry cutoff is October 4th at 11 PM. You can edit your picks anytime until this date It has all the scoring rules. Goals are two points, whether it's forward or defenseman assists, one point hat tricks are five points goalies, two points for a win and five points for a shutout. Now, how the hockey pool works is you will create a team name. So you just, you know, uh, go Oilers is the team name. And then your email, whatever email you use for officepools.com, you enter that. And then it's a box style pool. So there are 24 boxes here. As you'll scroll, you'll see all these players. You pick one player per box. So, you know, if you're looking, you know, maybe Dry Seidel is going to have the best season out of everyone, 55 goals, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm picking Dry Seidel. And then you go, oh, I want Pedersen. I want Kaprizov. 
You just do that. You pick one player from each box. You scroll all the way down. And once you're done, you hit save team. And that is literally it. That is how to enter the Austin hockey pool. It is completely free. First prize is a Fanatics Authentic Pro hockey jersey or cash equivalent, which is about $600 Canadian. Second place is $250. Third place is $100. This is open to hockey fans all across the world. I guess Canada here. Most of my viewers are from Canada, but if you're tuning in from somewhere else, you are still allowed to enter and you do not have to be an Oilers fan. Beat an Oilers fan is not a requirement. If you are a Bruins fan and you end up winning this thing, I will send you a Bruins Authentic Pro jersey. Of your choice, by the way, you get to choose the player name as well. This is something that I think is going to be really fun, something that I wanted to do to give back to the community that has supported me so much over the past 10 months. And uh, we're growing something special here. And I'm really excited for when the actual regular season starts. But until then, I'm going to keep doing things like this just to try and engage with the community more. You're all seriously the best. I cannot wait for the game tonight. Uh, I will have a post-game recap after the game. Look out for that. And then tomorrow, I'll do a day-after discussion as well. For those of you who are tuning in, maybe for the first time, that's usually how it works. So I do pre-game reports, post-game recaps, day-after discussions. And then, of course, if there are breaking news things to talk about, I do those as well. Mostly a daily content creator here. Sometimes the daily part is... Uh, a little bit iffy just from various different reasons uh but i want to thank everyone for watching today's video it means a lot i can't wait for the game tonight let's go oilers tell someone that you love them fight like a kid fight like ben we'll see you soon oil country let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below let me know which players you're taking a look at and who you hope makes this team and uh we'll see you after the game have a good one